The GOAT of chess, Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen in round number 7 of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm Chess Grandmaster in this YouTube channel. And today we will watch in the first time in this tournament the greatest player in history of the game, the talented no way, former world champion Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen. It goes without saying how much he has transformed the chess world over the past decade. And I can definitely tell you that I have been a die-hard fan of his, you know, from the very beginning. In round number 7 of the 2024 Chess Olympiad, the Norway team led by Magnus Carlsen faced the challenging Austrian team. In this game, we will see Magnus with the black pieces against Grandmaster Valentin Dragnev. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show of the world's number one. You know, just work is magic. So let's see. Valentin is playing the move e4, d6 after nine minutes. That Magnus, of course, you know, came late to this game. d4, knight f6, knight c3, and e5. Wow, Magnus Carlsen is playing the Philly door opening. Bishop c4, bishop e7. Castle, castle, and a4 was played. I can tell you that I also remember that white should have played like this uh, from the Negi uh, work, you know, in this book about the Philidor variation. Negi is a very strong grandmaster from India. So a4, c6 was played by Magnus, h3, h6, bishop e3. And now uh, there was some interesting move here. Magnus played the move rook e8. But also knight takes e4 was an, an option to play. Knight takes d5. And here, you know, you are attacking this bishop and also this knight. So it's a fork, of course. And it's not so easy to play. I think rook e1 was the best here. And after takes here, d takes with knight e6. Something about it. And also queen e2, rook a d1. And if you are attacking this knight, so knight takes e5. And I'm not sure about this position. You know, bishop b3, knight d5, bishop f5. Bishop f6, also very interesting uh, for black. But let's see. He, he didn't play it uh, knight e4. He played the move rook e8. Just develop his rook. a5. White is getting some space advantage in the queen side. e takes d4 was played by Magnus. Queen takes and now bishop f8. The point, of course, is to open this file for the rook. Maybe, you know, to, to try to play knight c5 with attacking this pawn on e4. And also knight e5. Uh, makes a sense after bishop f8, of course. So rook f1, just developing here rook. Queen c7, also, you know, uh, improving his queen position. Bishop f4, now rook a d1 uh, will be the next move, and the d6 pawn will be weak, so knight e5, um, very strong move by Magnus. Bishop e2, of course, uh, just defending the knight on f3, and now bishop to d7. So this position is very interesting, because now, it, you know, we are starting to think about the middle game plans. He played the move bishop to g3. And now Magnus played the move a6. Another very quiet move, you know, improving. He is thinking about maybe in some variations White will try to play the move a6. And Magnus, and Magnus is said, you know what, I don't want it later. I'm just playing the move a6. Now the best move for White was to play knight d2. And the point is that, of course, after f4, this knight will go back you know, probably to g6, and white will play the move knight c4 and knight b6, because after a6, you know, this square is a little bit, you know, so weak, right? Because if you bring this knight here, it will be just fantastic for white. So knight e2 here was the best move, and you know, with f4, knight c4, knight b6, this is the plan, and it's quite strong. But Dragon played the move bishop h4. Rook e6 by Magnus Carlsen is bringing another rook into the game, also improving this rook and also, of course, defending the knight on f6. Knight takes e5, rook takes e5. I thought just to play with d takes e5, right? Because queen e3, I don't know, something about maybe g5, bishop g3. Uh, I don't know. I thought about bishop e8 also, and maybe an interesting move because rook d8, but yeah, now bishop c4, so it's not so good. Uh, maybe rook d8 here just to play bishop c8 and now rook d4 with bishop c5 
this may be a, a better option of course so rook d8 here and i don't know this pawn is doing a perfect job here and also this bishop is not so good right so d takes c5 was interesting solution by magnus but he took with the rook and he said you know what you just can take my knight on f6 g takes and i'm not afraid about this king because i will play the move bishop g7 with rook g5 maybe f5 this bishop will be very strong in this diagonal so yeah it's it's really interesting uh, decision by magnus b4 was played after rook takes e5 rook a8 of course now knight takes e4 is the threat bishop g3 what a blunder okay of course it's not so easy to understand why it's blunder but the best move here was just to push f4 and probably rook takes e4 will be the will be the best knight takes uh, probably knight takes with d5 c5 bishop f5 something about this also the queen will uh, open his uh, diagonal so this position you know sacrificing a, a exchange but it's very interesting and complicated but uh, he played the move bishop g3 and now he missed some very strong idea by magnus c5 and the point is that of course you're attacking the queen and the pawn and after d takes c5 just rook takes c5 and you know this uh, line is very very strong and this knight is under attack the pawn on c2 will fall and also this pawn on e4 uh, has some troubles so b takes c5 is not a good move he played the move queen d1 and now just a brilliant move and decision by magnus carlsen c takes b4 just giving up the exchange and tell uh, you know all over the world you know what I'm, I'm i'm fine i have two bishops i will win it very easily let's see how it does it you know bishop takes d takes e5 knight e5 just takes takes and now e4 you know just amazing move the point here just to bring this queen to e5 bishop d6 you know attack here is very strong and these two bishops are doing just perfect he played the move bishop g4 of course white you know will be very happy to exchange one uh, bishops but of course black uh, doesn't want to do it f5 bishop h5 and just rook c8 rook c8 uh, was not the best move rook d8 was a little bit uh, better because this pawn on d5 will be weak after queen e5 bishop b5 this pawn will fall maybe so rook d8 was a little bit better rook c8 was playing now d6 strong move by white wants to bring the queen to d5 with some initiative uh, queen c5 c3 b takes c3 queen b3 queen c4 taking the on b7 the pawn of course attacking this pawn a uh, bishop on d7 of course queen e6 just um defend it uh, queen a6 and now bishop takes d6 with bishop h2 discovery check right and taking the queen so queen a7 c2 a6 bishop f4 with c1 threats queen b7 rook b8 and now just queen d6 bishop e2 bishop e6 you know some uh, developing and improving his piece in, in his pieces as you can see the queen cannot go anywhere it's just fantastic here cannot go here 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 nothing just uh, goes to nothing the queen is just trapped if there was a, a knight here or i don't know here maybe just winning the queen it's amazing to see how magnus carlsen is controlling all over the board so bishop e6 bishop f1 was played king h7 another just improving his king position amazing amazing you know dragnev here uh, with below of one minute rook ec1 just takes takes and rook b1 queen e3 queen d1 another very strong move a7 just queen takes c1 and the game is over after queen takes c1 rook takes uh, promoting a queen but just rook takes f1 king takes queen c1 king e2 and bishop c4 is a checkmate on the board magnus carlsen is just you know wow 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 way too strong for these grandmasters you know if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button subscribe my channel for more chess content i'm uploading every single day chess content about the olympia now two or three videos so just have so fun so much fun here and just don't forget also to write in the comments what do you think about this video see you soon in the next video bye bye